to make something different. I wanted to use this plate. Uh, I just wanted to do something different, so I did. Uh, this is really recent. It doesn't really have a name. Um, I love the Southwest style. So, and I love the antique look of everything, and the ancient, and the old, and the weathered, and the worn, and rugged, and the rich colors. So, I started with this plate. I think this is a plate. I think it's a plate from, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I need to find out. I think it's a Mexican plate. I think they serve food on it, but I'm not positive. And anyway, I, I love this like it was, but I wanted to paint it and make it a little more textured and awesome. So I did. I used my metallic paints. And this piece right here, I found, I think I told you I, in my video of this, I talked about this. Um, I can't, there's nothing like that in the world. <laughs> I'll never get, get another one like that. These, these came out of a game. They're the punch outs that you just discard, and I kept them. And I used them right here. So I have several more of those, so I, I do have more of those. They came from this game. This is the game board, and these pieces came out of here. And these pieces, you're supposed to normally throw away too, but they came out of these. These are the ones I... <clears throat> so I just keep the junk, stuff you're supposed to throw away. So I could use this as a stencil, I could use it as all sorts of things. I could glue it on, and I could um, paint over it. This is an awesome game, really. And then you build right here in the center, so that's why all these things are, these little holes are cut out. So I just keep the junk. <laughs> when my mother, uh, when we were getting rid of my mom's things, I just kept her junk and everybody else took the good stuff. <laughs> so, obviously that's a, a bicycle gear, but in order to to really connect it to anything, I, I, I put it a piece of wood behind it so I can connect it. So I just glue, used E6000 to glue things together. And this piece, this, I, I don't know what this is. I, I can't remember, some kitchen gadget thing this piece of wood. And then this, I don't know what it is, but this is for, this is where I got it. <laughs> Came off of this thing. So you can see I have a few more of those. Came off of one of these pegs. I thought that was pretty cool, but I found that at a secondhand store, Desert Industries. And this has something to do with farming, and I, I don't know what it is. It's this, I'll have to do some more research to find out, but I found a bunch of these in a pile of wood that I also found round discs in. Um, but it, it, it's inserted here, because I, I could tell that it was, um, this was inserted into something, and this was on the outside, and something screwed onto it. That's, that's all I, I know. And this, this is a plug that, 
that a metal, a, a plug that they punched out. This is one of those metal plugs that Hall's Machine Shop punched out. I have several of the square ones, but I have lots of round ones. These are the plugs. The metal plugs that they punch, punched out. And he, he just gave them to me. They were all over the floor. And he had a, he had a stick that had a magnet on the end. One of the, the guys that works at Hall's Machine Shop. That's what I'm talking about. But he said... You just here, just take this magnet and just pick them all up. So I, I did. Here's a one inch. Anyway, this was quite a find. I, I don't use them a lot, but I, I, I will eventually. So probably won't ever use this in my whole lifetime, all of them. But who knows? So um, these plates. I, I also bought them, I think I, I bought them in Salt Lake, actually, in the Salt Lake area at Desert Industries. I was actually looking for s different things in different Desert Industries, because up in Idaho Falls, it's just one store, and we just get, you know, I was just looking for things. So... When I find something like this, and there are a whole bunch of them, I know they're going to be gone, and I know I'll be sorry if I don't buy them. Because, I mean, something like this is unusual. Wooden discs, wooden plates. So I bought five of I bought all, all that they had. Um, and they're very versatile. I could use them. I could cut them. You know, I could do whatever with them. I could paint around these edges each separately. I could paint every edge a different color, <laughs> which I probably won't. But. So, and then this piece right here, it's just a, it's just a one by two um, furring strip. That's what, is that all it is. But so, you know, just something like that different shape, a steely and a bead, but this, this is copper sheet metal, I got it from my brother, because he, he does duct work, he does heating and cooling, and he made an oven hood out of copper, and he gave me some, he was really reluctant to give me any, <laughs> But he gave me some of his scraps. So I took this piece of scrap and I took my, my square, my straight edge, and I drew a strip. And I cut it out with my nippers, not my nippers, but my metal cutters. And I cut this, that's what this strip is. And I hammered it with my texture hammer. And, um, and this piece, and it, it came from the Southwest. So, anyway, it's awesome. This long stick started out like this one. And it just weathered. If I put this outside and left it for a year, it would probably look like this. Because that's what happened to this. It's probably what happened to this stick, too. So, there you go.